Hi everyone, I wanted to share my MAC Glitter and Ice Collection haul. I got a couple of things that I'm really excited about. And really what m was most exciting about this collection was the packaging. Because, let me just tell you, I love it. It just looks so sleek and clean and just very wintry. And I'm wearing some of the stuff right now. So if you're wondering, I'm going to get to it. Don't fear. Have no fear. I will let you know what I'm wearing. First thing is I got one of the eyeshadows. Yeah, I didn't get that much, but it was overall very pretty. But one of the eyeshadows, and it's called Shimmer Mint mineralized eyeshadow and it's one of those things that I don't know why I buy mineralized eyeshadows because I never wear them they just look so pretty and I think I'm going to wear it all the time but I mean I don't but I just like having them because they look pretty which is really not a good way to buy to shop for things <laughs> but um, yeah so it's just so pretty I really like the white packaging if I ever did a collection for Mac I think I would do a white packaging you know I can dream right and then the box is silver if you are interested in that stuff but I always throw the boxes out I just save them until I do the video then I picked up two of the paint pots because now I'm obsessed with paint pots the third one that I did not get was pretty but I don't know why I didn't get it I just got two uh, I don't remember the name of the third one, but it reminded me of Woodwink's eyeshadow, like something like that. Kind of golden, very pretty. But this one, I probably would have gotten a lot more use out of that one than the two that I did get. So that shows you how sensible I am. So here is the paint pot. It has a white cap. And I got Let's Gate, which is pink. And I got it because it reminded me of the eyeshadow Nano Gold. I don't know. It's just a really pretty pink with uh, golden shimmers. So, you know, it plays with the light. So pink with silver shimmer to it. I like shimmery things on my lid. Not so much above the lid, but on the lid I love shimmer. So I'm all over this stuff. And it's not as messy. This eyeshadow, though, is a mess. It is such a mess. The Shimmer Mint, that's what I'm wearing right now. And you will get fallout everywhere. Uh, it's really pretty if you can be patient to really get the eyeshadow on. And don't do your foundation first. Do your eyes first. Then wipe the glitter off. I still have glitter left on my face, even though I tried to wipe off as much as I can. But yeah, you need to be patient with it. But the color is really pretty. And I layered it over this paint pot. It's called For Effect. This is so pretty. I don't know if you can even see it reflect anymore because I've worn it a couple of times already. It is amazing. It's like this gray with shimmers in it. It has like blue and green shimmer. It's so pretty. You can't really see it once you swatch it, but when you look at the paint pot itself, you can see different color shimmers in there. So I really like it. I've worn it alone. I really like it alone. It just gives a really sheer wash with some sparkliness to it. And I wore it like this with shimmer mint on top. So this is the second time I've done this look. And I really like it. So I just did that and then I put some black eyeliner and then in the crease I did Vibrant Grape just a little bit and that's it. So, you know, that's all there is to this look. Black eyeliner, paint and pot, eyeshadow, and shimmer mint and then Vibrant Grape in the crease. And concealer under the brows. So that's how I got this look if you were wondering. Then I got this, and this was totally because of the packaging. I don't use beauty powders. Not that there's anything wrong with them, I just don't use them. And um, I got the one in How Beautiful, but how beautiful is this packaging? I love this compact so much. And this one is the bronzy one. And I'm wearing that. I put that like all over, so I put it on my cheek, on my 
chin and forehead and stuff. So it's just extra. It just gives like a really nice glow without shimmer. So it's just like a bronzy, like a golden glow. Not really bronzy. Really nice golden glow. I like it. But it's like one of those things that it's if I remember to use it. So this is why I got it. It's so pretty. And the same thing, I think the only... No, I have two other beauty powders. I have the ones from the Heatherette collection, and it was because of the packaging. But at that point, I had no idea what a beauty powder was. But, um, yeah, it just adds, like, some kind of effect to your skin. It's kind of like a finishing powder. It can brighten, add stuff. Um, who knows, really. But I got the ones from the Heatherette collection because it was pink, and I was like, oh, my God, MAC. And then I got the one for the Emmanuel Ungaro collection. And it says, like, Emmanuel Ungaro on the packaging, on the compact. So that's why I got that. So... Other than that, I don't I don't use those. But this one I use today. And hopefully I will use it because then I'll just feel so bad about myself. <laughs> then I got this lip and nail kit. And this I was so on the fence about because I only wanted the lipstick. But you know what I mean? It's like kind of like a waste when you only want the lipstick and then you're getting all this other stuff you don't really need. I really like the bag though. I think it's so cute. I love the circular bag. It's clear, so you can see, you know, if you use this as a makeup bag, you can see where everything is. I really like using clear pouches for stuff. And I'll show you what's inside. So you get this red nail lacquer, and it's cream asiatic, or asiatique. Very fancy, so really pretty red. But, you know, I don't need another red nail polish. Not like I need another red lipstick, which is the whole reason why I got this. But this one is called Kanga Rouge, and it's an amplified finish. I love this so much. It's so pretty. Let's see, does it match? I think the lipstick is a little bit deeper than the nail polish. But I love this red. It was from the Dame Edna collection, and I missed out on that collection. I slept on that, and then I really wanted the lipsticks, but this one was from that collection, and it's a really pretty red, and I love the packaging. So here it is. Here it is. Here is the lip glass that comes in here, and it's called Golden Blanket. Again, I don't need another lip gloss in my life. It is, however, very pretty. It's very light, but it's something that you can just use to top something else. So you could do like the red lipstick and then like in the center of the lip, pop a little bit of that on to add fullness. So if you like that, you can do that because it's a very pretty golden color. So you can see right here. It's very pretty. So you can use that for that. So. Um, even though I didn't need the lip gloss, I still think it's very pretty, and I love the bag, and I think that these little kits would make such great gifts. I did another video today, the same day, on this palette by NARS, and you probably already know what it is, and you should watch it because there's a contest at the end. So if you made it through the end of this video, then you should know that there is going to be a contest at the end of this video. Follow me on Twitter at drbrooklyn730. I have a blog, musingsofacitygirl.com, that I update weekly, sometimes multiple times a week. I have a Tumblr, but I don't know what to put on Tumblr, so I don't really update it that much, but maybe you have an idea, so let me know what I should do on Tumblr, because I have a blog, I have Twitter, and I have YouTube. What else can I put on Tumblr that's not what, like a YouTube video or something that I did, which isn't really fruitful. But anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!